Hello there, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd and today I'm reviewing an Epiphone guitar and this has been one of the most frequent requests. Uh, it's the SG Special, so it's the cheapest model that's uh, copying an SG guitar. Well, SG stands for solid body guitar or something like that and uh, it was actually Gibson's attempt to make a more uh, or improve their current model, the Les Paul model back in the 50s. And uh, yeah, they made this. And yeah, uh, initially it was actually, was actually called the Les Paul model and Les Paul did not like it. So they had to remove that. And then it became the SG. So yeah. Let's go through it then. Uh, I'll start with the hardware. And on the top, what do you have? The worst tuners you can think of. Uh, these belongs on kids' toys, maybe. Uh, definitely not on musical instruments that are, you actually are supposed to play. Uh, so yeah, Epiphone. You should be ashamed of yourself for putting these horrible things on guitars. Um, yeah, we, uh, according to the specs, it's a maple neck, but, uh, if you look at the grain stuck structure of it, it doesn't really look like maple to me, but if it is, then I suppose I'm the only one that's happy because everyone else seems to prefer mahogany necks for reasons completely unknown to me. Maple is... Uh, a more solid and even wood, so it's much better to make guitar necks out of. And uh, I'm quite sure that the wood of a guitar neck does not affect the tone at all of a guitar. Electric guitar, that is. Uh, but as I said, maple makes it more solid, so I hope it is maple. Uh, as usual, Gibson are doing this part wrong, so yeah, they are not keeping because they remove wood from here actually, which they could keep to make this part solid because this is where it breaks when you have the angled headstock. So, well then, I'll get back to that. Uh, we have a rosewood fingerboard, medium jumbo frets, and uh, yeah, plastic dot inlays. Uh, a lot of people say that this is made out of plywood and uh, that's why I got the see-through uh, cherry color and I can tell you it's definitely not plywood you can see the wood so this is a solid body guitar uh, it's three pieces of mahogany and uh, yeah it's not much more to say about that uh, yeah it's a Gibson style guitar so you get two humbuckers you get the lock tone tunematic bridge from Epiphone that's nice. This is the current model. Uh, previously, they didn't have a pick guard on this one. And uh, yeah. It makes it look, uh, I think it makes it look a lot better and a lot closer to the original SG. So, And I suppose that's you, what you want when you get one of these. Uh, single tone, sing single tone, single volume, and a three-way switch for the pickups. And I think this set is much better than the ones they have on a regular Gibson guitar. Um, with separate volumes and tones for the pickups. I don't know of many people that actually use that in any way interesting. Most have everything on 10. So I certainly do. So for me, this is a better solution. Okay, materials and hardware. I give it a six for materials and hardware. And that is all because of the tuners. And tuners are a vital part of the guitar. And I, I've had it with this Epiphone. <laughs> You're not getting more than six. Everything else is fine. Just fine. 
build quality and durability. Well, again, the tuners, they will break. I had several, several, several comments of people telling me that they they have broken, actually. I, I, I talked about this when I did the Les Paul special, too, uh, which has the same crappy tuners. And I got a lot of comments of people who said, yeah, they do break. And they will. So durability-wise, that's horrible. I talked about the neck thing here. There's supposed to be a volute here if you have a tilted neck uh, headstock. And they don't. So this, if you drop it, and you will, trust me, there's a big chance that it will break. Maybe a smaller chance since this is made of maple. Um, the fret ends on this guitar, as with the Les Paul Special 2, were horrible. It's an easy, th easy thing to fix, though. You just... What I do is I just use a metal nail, nail file. Just file away the things that you can feel. Takes less than 10 minutes and you're good to go. So I wonder why they don't spend that time at the factory. Uh, this is a bolt-on guitar, and if you see my other videos, you know I prefer bolt-ons to any other construction. Um, it's much better than set-in, glued-in, neck-through bodies, guitars. So this is a good thing, and the neck pocket and everything is very tidy. So the way the neck is made and the way it's connected to the body, it's... yeah. Really nice. The neck, by the way, is a rather slim one. It is different to the Les Paul Special 2, and it's... I don't know. I'm used to playing strats that usually have more slimmer necks. At least modern ones. And this didn't feel like such a big switch. Well, back to build quality durability. Um, well, there's nothing else to complain about. This bridge... I like this one. For a tuna bike bridge, this is really good. So, build quality durability gets a uh, 7 as a whole. Playability. And again, I will compare this to the Les Paul Special 2, which I suppose this is the two guitars you would choose between if you get this. And the Les Paul Special 2 has wood here, so you the way... It's so much harder to get down here and reach the lower frets. And that is probably why they made the SG from the start, actually, to make it more accessible down here. Uh, the body is lighter and thinner, and as it is an SG, it has all these contours. And it feels more ergonomic, so uh, compared to uh, the Les Paul Special 2, this is much more playable. And the neck, as I said, is slimmer. Yeah. If playability is what you're after, then go for this one. This is much better. I gave it an 8 for playability. It has a rather flat radius, but it's standard Gibson style, so it's 12 inches. And that helps too, sometimes. Uh, electronics. Well, as I said, we have uh, two humbuckers and it's the usual 700T and the 650R. And they are really bad pickups in my opinion, but I get back to that when it comes to sounds. Um, other than that, I don't have anything com to complain about. Uh, the volume and the tone works. Uh, and that's a good thing. It's not usually the case with even more expensive Epiphone guitars. Uh, this is, a, as I said, a current model. And they have put the kill pot that they us used to have on... What was it called? The Les Paul Special GT or something. So if you press down the tone knob, it turns off the volume, so you can make funny things. And that is, if someone has the two volume, two tone thing, that is a common thing to do. You turn off the volume and one pick it, and then you do it with a toggle switch. But here you have this one, and if that's something you like, well, 
I think it's kind of funny. Let's use. So electronics gets an eight. Okay then, let's listen to it. Uh, I will go through all the pickups as usual from the bridge pickup or the treble pickup, what it's called here, the two together and the neck or rhythm pickup. And first we have a clean sound. And then we go for a more overdriven sound. Thank you. 
Yeah, and finally, some high gain. I gave it a 7 for sounds, as I said, these pickups are not my favorites, they are rather dull and lack treble, and I've complained about this a lot in my videos, because I've tried a lot of guitars with these. Um, yeah, so, as you can hear, they were voiced for high gain, they suit that a lot better, then they it really brings out the best of them, but if you're using anything else, like clean tones... Yeah, it just makes the guitar sound dead. Um, yeah, it's a really playable guitar, as I said. Uh, again, with a bolt-on, it has several uh, good things about that, because that makes them put the neck further into the body. And just move everything, because with a regular SG, then... This is further out, it's attached much further out, so this is actually much easier to get around. Um, and as you can hear, the sustain of this guitar is rather good. I'd say it's um, better than the G400, that's supposed to be the real SG in the Epiphone range. And uh, that probably comes down to a lot of things, but I think the bolt-on construction actually affects it. Because it's not true what people tell you that setting guitars are better sustained. It's not true at all. Uh, I have added a new category and that's value. And I will give this guitar an 8. It's one of the cheapest guitars you can get. It blows my mind how you can make a guitar for that little money. Uh, well, as you noticed in my re review, what I wanted them to change primarily is the tuners. It would add a slight cost to it, but that will make it a guitar that you can have for your entire life and not change anything. Because you will be forced to change the tuners. It's not that big of an investment, but anyhow, you don't want a car with square wheels again. 
Uh, so all in all, it gets a 7.3. And uh, yeah, I like the guitar. Playing-wise, it's a great guitar. So if you uh, change some things on it, yeah, you have a great thing to start with, actually. Um, yeah, this is Spinal Spears Guitar Nerd reviewing the Epiphone SG Special. I hope you found this useful. See you soon. Bye.